the Logitech Brio versus the Logitech Stream Cam versus the Logitech C920 Pro. That's right, y'all have been asking for it and I'm delivering. Which one do you think you should buy? And guess which one is which? That's right, let's drop some numbers in there. All right, one, two, and three. Leave it in the comments below. I'll give you a couple seconds to decide which ones are which. What Logitech camera should you spend your hard earned money on? And what do I feel is the camera that's going to be the biggest bang for your buck? That's right. I went ahead and I picked these three cameras together just for you so you can decide which one you should go with. And I'll give you my opinions along the way. But to make things fair, I went ahead and set some rules. Rule number one, each camera is set to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Rule number two, cams are recorded at the same time. That's right, there's no shenanigans going on, no smoke and mirrors. They're all going ahead and recording at the same time as if I was live streaming. Rule number three, each camera are set to the same height and distance from me, or at least as close as I can get them. Rule number four, each camera has been configured in OBS settings to the best of my ability. Once again, think about this. I'm not a professional photographer or cinematographer, so you're just gonna have to take it that I tried my best. First up is the Logitech Brio 4K versus the newer Logitech Stream Cam. That's right, we're gonna put those two newer cameras or slightly newer cameras together to compare them before we bring the C920 into it. Once again, they are both recording at 1080p at 30 frames per second. If you look at the upper left-hand one, that's being the Logitech Brio, you can notice the saturation dials me in a little bit better. I have more of a natural tone, what I look like in real life. Not too white, not too red. Down on the bottom right-hand corner, however, the Logitech Stream Cam kind of puts me in more of a pinkish color. I kind of look like uh, a pig skin on me, as you would say. And unfortunately, I don't look like that and naturally. Uh, I kind of lean more towards the lightest washed out tan look. So I would have to say when it's going to pit these two, I like the Brio when it comes to the saturation. However, I would say that I'm gonna have to give one point to the Logitech Stream Cam when it comes to that crisp, sat, that, that nice, uh, how do I wanna put this? It just has a crisper look. So the saturation, not so great, but the crispness is definitely there. And when it comes to the colors, look at that yellow behind me. Man, that yellow's popping. So here's the thing, I played around. I was kind of frustrated with the Logitech Stream Cam because I thought I dialed it in a lot better than that in past recordings. And I'm just looking at it compared to the Brio and I'm sitting there thinking, really? Maybe I should be going back to the Brio to record my YouTube uh, videos. Now let's bring in the C920 Pro into the mix. Once again, all these cameras are set to 1080p at 30 frames per second. The Logitech Brio being the upper left hand corner, the Logitech Stream Cam being in the upper right hand corner, and the Logitech C920 Pro being in the bottom right hand corner. Now, as you notice with the C920 Pro, the saturation is a little bit comparable to the Brio. So notice I'm not totally washed out. I don't look like a sheet of paper, but at the same time, I don't look pink like the Logitech Stream Cam. So I would say it's a lot closer to the Brio. And really, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of look jaundiced with the Logitech C920 Pro, but I feel that that is what it is. It's an older camera and I'm gonna let you know kind of what's going on with the settings and we can understand that a little bit better as we go on into the video. But to be honest with you, really, I would think that the C920 Pro wasn't gonna be as crisp and clean as say the Logitech Stream Cam. And it's pretty comparable. It's not as sharp, it's not as clear, but it's not bad. And if it was by itself, you probably would not be able to guess it. So with all cameras, and that is all camera controls within OBS, I went in and set the properties to the same. So that in other words, I turned off zoom, the focus, I set the exposure to all cameras at negative four. However, I like to point out, usually I use a negative five when it comes to dialing in the Brio, but 
it worked just fine with the negative four because I wanted to compare apples to apples and not apples to oranges. So I kind of wanted to set the playing field evenly. The pan and tilt, obviously we left that to zero and left it off. I turned off any low light compensation. Now we're gonna roll into each individualized settings because each one to dial it in and get the best look possible, I had to go with slightly different settings. So starting out with the Logitech Brio 4K cam. That is right. So the brightness and contrast were almost dead center. And I love that. I love that when it, when it comes to doing it because it makes it easy to remember. Uh, it's easy to set. And I might have to change it depending on what shirt I wear uh, during a live stream or a pre-recorded video. But most part, it's always gonna be real close to dead center. And that brightness was at 94 and then 92 for the contrast. The saturation was 126, just slightly past dead center. And the sharpness at 173. I did have to turn that up a little bit to try to compete with the Logitech Stream Cam. The white balance, uh, usually this is checked to on automatically. You would wanna check that off as well. And, but that is set to 4,820. There is no backlight compensation. The gain, this is where uh, the negative exposure, negative four, negative five uh, comes into play. So when it comes to Logitech Brio, usually I rock out with the negative five and I, I tend to be able to dial that gain in a little bit better than at a negative four. So it's almost dead center though. It's at 92, I kind of like it. Um, I could have probably played around with a little bit more, but you know, I don't want to spend days doing this video. Moving on, we're going to go do the Logitech Stream Cam settings. And once again, I was pretty surprised with the brightness and the contrast. We're almost dead center uh, with 116 at the brightness and the contrast at a 129. Uh, the saturation and sharpness, I did have to crank up on this one, uh, which was a surprise. But with the saturation, if I went too far down in the numbers, I turned like white as a ghost. I mean, there was no... Uh, you know, uh, you know, type thing. It was either super white or super pink. So that was the only thing I have to say about the Logitech uh, stream cam. Uh, as far as the settings went, I just was really irritated with that one. The white balance, once again, turned that one off to, uh, then it's set to 4,273. No backlight compensation. And the gain is almost dead center again with 117. So I was pretty happy with that. Remember, once again, the exposure is set to negative four. Lastly, the Logitech C920. This is where you're gonna see the big difference. And once again, got just keep in mind, the C920 Pro is an older cam. The brightness and contrast actually, believe it or not, were pretty much dead center with a 126 and a 127. I found that really comfortable to dial in. The saturation, however, oh my God. If I thought the Logitech Stream Cam was bad, I really had to crank the saturation on this one. Normally, if I would crank a 204, uh, like I did on the C920 Pro, as I would do on the Brio, I would look like an Oompa Loompa because that's how much saturation that is. Uh, I mean, I would be orange in the Logitech Brio. Uh, you would think I ate way too many carrots uh, for the past year. Uh, but that's what it took to get me to look pretty natural, or at least my natural skin tone. Uh, the white balance, or sorry, we skipped the sharpness. Sharpness is at 151. Eh, it's okay. That's fine. Uh, the white balance. Uh, is uh 4610 once again make sure you click that uh that auto turn that off or whatever uh and then the gain i did have to crank the gain on this one this was 199 once again the exposure is set to negative four uh, so i definitely think a negative five i wouldn't be able to do really much with that gain uh, when it comes to this older Logitech C920 Pro. But as you've seen with the comparisons, it did not really look that bad compared to some of these newer cameras. So in the end, I feel that the Brio comes out ahead when it comes to fine tuning. I feel that I have a little bit more control of the Brio this way. And yes, I know a lot of you uh, are gonna leave the hate comments down below that hate the Brio, including my brother. But the thing is, is I got the luck of the draw. I got a really good Brio. I have never had any issues with it now true once again i don't try to record in 4k or stream in 4k with it i stick around that 1080p at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second and i find that i can really dial in a good looking camera or whatever and considering my budget lighting system i don't think it's really a bad camera uh everyone complains about low lighting i pretty much have low lighting here and i i feel that it does the job however if we were going to talk about bang for your buck I am going to have to once again defend the C920 Pro. That is right, it is tried and true. I used that camera the longest over the Brio and the Logitech Stream Cam. Biggest bang for your buck, C920 
Pro. Grab one up if you're starting or thinking about starting to stream or record content on YouTube because this camera will not fail you. Yes, you do not have the ability to fine tune it such as you would with the Brio or even the Logitech Stream Cam, but I don't think that you're gonna go wrong with the money spent on that. Now, from the beginning of the video, which one was which? That's right, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the answer. So those of you who stayed tuned to the end, you're gonna know which one was which. So number one was the Logitech Stream Cam, that's right. And number two was the Logitech Brio. And number three was the C920 Pro, that's right. So as you see, when the camera is shrunk down, there's not much of a big difference and it's kind of harder to tell. And think about that is for you game streamers out there, it's not gonna make a much difference when you're just a little square down in that bottom corner playing those games. So pick you up a C920 Pro. The links are down and below and any link that you click on, it actually helps support the channel. And what else supports the channel? You clicking that video right above. Till then, see you around.